Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated December 8, 2022. Indian equity markets rose today. Nifty opened gap up around 18,570 and managed to make a day high of 18,625. After that we can see some profit booking. At the time of close Nifty managed to close above 18,600 which is a good sign. Similarly Sensex climbed up almost 160 points to give a closing of 62,570. Talking about sectors most of the sectors ended in green with Nifty PSU Bank emerging as top performing sector with gains of 3.81%. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Axis Bank, Induzin Bank and Iker Motors. Out of these, two are from banking sector. Almost every banking stock showed positive signs today. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 2.77%, 2.43% and 2.12% respectively. On the other hand we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Sun Pharma, Divislab and Power Grid. They fell within the range of 1.49% to 3.76% respectively. For the development in the corporate segment, we have Sun Pharmaceutical Industries Limited on Thursday said its halal facility in Gujarat has been listed under import alert by the US FDA with products manufactured at the unit now are subject to refusal of admission in the US market. The development follows an inspection of the facility by the US Food and Drug Administration from April 26 to May 9, 2022. Import alert implies that all future shipments of products manufactured at this facility are subject to refusal of admission to the U.S. market until the facility becomes compliant with current good manufacturing practice standards. Realty firm Macrotech Developers Promoters plan to raise about 3,500 rupees crore by selling shares to institutional investors. Mumbai-based Macrotech Developers sells its properties under the Loda brand. In a regulatory filing late on Wednesday, Macrotech developers informed that the company has launched qualified institutional placement of the equity shares. Macrotech informed that the floor price has been fixed at 1,022.75 rupees per share but did not mention the amount to be raised through the QIP. Jindal Steel and Power Limited has acquired an under-construction plant of the Mana Power Company under the insolvency resolution process for 410 rupees crore. Adani Power was one of the contenders for the plant. The present total portfolio of SJVN is around 42,000 megawatt and out of this around 97% is based on non-fossil fuel sources with presence pan-India and abroad. JSPL will use the plant to supply power to its steel plants at Ungol. American Power Solutions Provider Cummins, in collaboration with EPC player Technomont, the Indian subsidiary of Mare Technomont Group, will provide technology to Gale to build one of India's largest proton exchange membrane electrolyzers. Cummins India will leverage its proprietary PM electrolysis technology to manufacture electrolyzers for the Gale project. This project is anticipated to produce 4.3 ton of green hydrogen per day. As the lightest and most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen is rarely found in nature in its elemental form and is always extracted from other hydrogen-containing compounds. Next MediaWorks was trading 20% up in today's trading session. As we can see in the chart stock was trading with net volume of 3 lakhs 56,000 rupees. Also the stock is trading above its moving average which comes to 5.80 rupees which is positive sign for the stock. A big green Marabozu candle can be seen to date signifying positive signs in this stock in short term. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for listening. For more such content, like and subscribe our channel thank you for listening.